Hello! It's a new year, and here's the first deck I'll be trying out that I played uh, for this year. Let's take a look at it. It's a Glaceon deck. It was one... I forgot who did it, but what it was, it was like a tournament winning or something like that type of list. So I thought I'd give it a try. Fine, I love Glaceon VMAX, and favorite artwork right there. Glaceon's one of my favorite of all the, you know, evolutions. So, and that artwork again is the best. Oh my. <laughs> and of course, this artwork is also the best. I just love how, look at it. Just look at it just sitting there admiring the flowers popping up from the snow. Ah, oh, so cute. It's beautiful art. Anyway, so you get them. You're going to have the Sobble, Drizzile, and Telia line. Drizzile to get out what you need with Shady Dealings on that other Inteleon, plus the quick shooting to help spread some damage throughout the turns for the little bit that Glacian will be doing. And then some Crobat V to help us as our draw supporting Pokemon. Basically, yeah. Uh, Capacious Bucket to help us get our Water Energy, Evolution Incense to help us get our Evolutions. Mainly, you know, those guys right there. Lava Balls to get out, well, our Drizzile, Lyle, 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 Lyles. <laughs> Pal pass to shuffle in and reuse supporters if we need to do so. Quick ball, you know, discard and get a basic. Pokemon, good for setting up. Scoop up net, let us uh, get some out of a uh, active spot if we need to because of this right here. The two retreat costs more annoyances, or if we just want to reuse Drizzile, Lyle, Lyle, etc. Snowleaf badge, we get, uh, we're okay. When it comes to the Galar Mine, because Snow Badge will give us free retreat, plus no weakness, if it lasts. Boss's orders to get someone out if we need to, whatever. Marnie for draw and uh, disruption. Remember, you can't have more than four cards in your hand. Professor's research. Discard draw seven. And, of course, the star, again, Melanie, the icy queen of greatness. Just great for that energy attachment, and to draw three cards, very nice indeed. She'll be very helpful, because we need three energy on our Glaceons to start doing stuff. And we're okay with that, you saw capture energies to help with our setup, regular water energy, and that's all we need. And the Snowleaf Badge is actually a very nice card, again, along with the very nice Melanie. And the Glar Mines, I kind of like this idea with that. For the treat and then us being able to bypass it. And the Italian line. Again, beautiful art. Frozen Awakening, a great one to start off with. You go second, you can do that. You can evolve if you want to. Or you can just say the heck with it. Go first. And then get your three on there hopefully by the next turn with a Melanie. The Crystal Veil. Something you want to have work. And when it works, it is very annoying for the opponent. Let's play it. And of course the attack is okay. Doing the 150 and then 30 to someone on the bench. But again, love the art on both those. The art in general is just great anyway. But let's have a, uh, and yes, as the title says, the first deck of 2022. And also, um, this deck can, uh, take down Mew. Yes, Mew VMAX. Huh. We're gonna see that in one of these matches coming up. Yeah. <laughs> it's also gonna take down another uh, big one. Or will it? Thanks again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Much appreciated. Probably be taking, after this, we'll be taking a couple weeks break. Stuff with the family, friends, just enjoying life. We'll be back with more. I've got stuff done already. It's just a matter of having to upload them. Spread it out through the month and the next month. And we'll see what happens with the new set. Yes. All right, what do we got? Can we defeat Urshifu? VMAX. Rapid Strike. Deck. Well, once we evolve, and if that becomes a VMAX, then yes? I would say yes. They are really thinking. They are really... A thinking and a dinking. Thinking and a dinking and a do 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 ba zoop ba doop ba zoop ba doo. Alrighty then. We'll just sit back, let them grab Drizzile right now. I would have just held onto the ball in case I got Marnied. 
Mm. Decisions here. Now I think it works perfectly. We have the bucket. We have two waters. We will put said water onto our Pokemon. Discard that. And then we can Melanie already. Which is just oh, very nice. Let's do that. Ho ho! So yeah, let's just get ourselves another Drizzile Isle, and by that I mean a Sobble. I apologize, Sobble. I really do. I just want to get these guys going. Put that on you. Put that on you. Put her there. Put her there. And Frozen Awakening into our beautiful... Glaceon V Max. Love that art. So cute. <laughs> Just them all there having fun. Oh, it's so cute. Just like my Sylvan. Hey, I got cupcakes for you. And when I'm a big thing, you're all playing on me like I'm a playground. It's cute. Good artworks. For all the evolutions, they're very nice. Oh, they're going to evolve. So, that's why I put, because I was afraid, I'm like, I might as well. That way, one of my Sobbles can benefit from that Drizzile to help me in this situation so I can grab some draw support. Because they're going to most likely not get two. If I would have just had the two, then I'd be dead drawing. Because I'd, no, I'd have no way to attack. Sure, I'd have to lose a quick shooting, but I think I'm going to go for, you know, draw seven. So we're going to go for Professor Oak. Um, so that was the best option to do. I think we had a good start. We got to get Melanie off right away. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyway. Um, let's see what they plan on. Oh. Interesting. Hmm. Luckily I have a scoop up net. If I got stuff. Yeah, it all kind of works out. I can scoop up net. Bring that back. <clears throat> yeah, it should still be okay. They're thinking. Two Sobbles. Because they're not going to... They're not going to go for the Glacian, are they? <laughs> they're not going to do that, right? I see. Okay. Uh, um, I don't even have to worry about doing that. Um, I'm, hmm. I'm just wondering here. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Do that. Do that. Do that. And in my excitement, I misplayed. Oh no. But. Um, yeah, they're, they're, um, I think they're pretty upset for their big misplay. Hmm. 
Just admiring the art again. No, Marnie. Either way, it works. <laughs> ah, boy. So how was everyone's Christmas and New Year's? Was it awesome? Let me know. Looking forward to this year? Hopefully. Hopefully some good things. Am I right? Yeah. All right, let's see what they're going to do. Anything? Anything at all. I see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so... Be great if I can get oh, another energy of some sort that's in there. Up, oh, they just give up. <laughs> Yay! We did it. All right. So that crystal veil did what it was supposed to do. Very happy for that. Let's see if we can do it again. Who are we going against? Da da da. One of the flaws in this deck, I know you had the scoop nets and the free tree cost for Glaceon. But what if Crobat gets Boston stuck into the active while you have Galar Mine out? Oh, does that stink when that happens? <laughs> And this is the Mew deck. Yay. And I think... I don't know. I can't remember. Still felt like it's good to have Switch. Something? I don't know. Oh. Now, I know they want to draw a lot, but they are wasting a lot of those. They wasted half of those already. I guess they're like, I don't need those. And I'm like, well... I know technically Mew VMAX can bypass the uh, the veil, but, oh, look at that. I've gone against people, and they never miss it. I haven't played that card yet, but I know I'm not going to hit heads every time I play Crownmatic. Everyone, I'll, I'll hit tails every time. Like every other coin flip card, it's, no thank you. Never works that way for me. So I don't even see why I would bother the waste space. Wow. What if they needed that extra 30? Like, I become my VMAX. You can only do 280. That would do it. Alright, evolve. Put you there. Grab another one, bada bing, bada boom, and let's just get Genesect. No, that's Petasect. Yeah, get Genesect out. Should I? Should I not? Yeah. I Man, I know they can draw through a lot of stuff, but. Keep drawing there, buddy. Uh, let's see. Glaceon is out now. Let's see what Glaceon can do against the mighty Mew. Did not mean for that to rhyme, but I'm happy it did. All right. It's time for Alessa to sparkle. Mm-mm. Yeah. And then, of course... 
I'll eventually remember that the stupid energy, the fusion strike energy, prevents them from, what, damage counters or something? I don't remember what it is. But every time. Attack abilities. Abilities or something? No, no, no. I don't, pay it. don't care to read for it right now. <laughs> Not like it costs me the game. Good. Alright, so they're ready to do something once they get out of that active. I reckon. Let's get ourselves another one, just in case. Drizzile Lyle will get us another one, too. Grab us some of that. Grab us that. <clears throat> and then more than likely... Yeah. Get ourselves a Crobat. Hopefully get something. Nothing. And this is where I was talking about, because I think this is when it happens. Because then you can't even just put an energy in retreat, because then it's like, alright, I gotta get three energy on that Crobat to retreat. Ugh. Was it the downfall? I don't know, they're not doing so hot either. So we'll, uh, we'll see. Oh, they're thinking. They are thinking, all right. All right, all right. Oh. Okay, so to do that first. So close. Happy to see Mel Meloetta getting some use out of the deck, finally. People are like, oh, we don't want to play her in the deck. It's like, no, play Meloetta. It's a good attack. Sure, doing the, what, 210 with whatever from Genesect is fun. But 280 it sounds really nice. Just saying. I reckon. <laughs> Concern it. They'll deck up before... No, 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 they should be fine. And again, of course they get heads. If I won't even dare play the card. It just isn't how it happens. <laughs> At least with me. Alrighty, what do we got, Pilgrims? Love Glaceon. Ooh, alright, so we stalled them enough. Um, we're gonna do that. We're going to do that. Get ourselves some switching. Switching and. Um. Really don't know what else. I guess that to get rid of their stadium, maybe. Or should I just go with 
course I'm going with that. <laughs> so with that, evolve into that glacial. Let's get them both out here. Both beautiful artworks. Just because it's a beautiful Pokemon. Alrighty, let's start some quick shooting. Which, of course, as I said, I forgot all about that stupid fusion strike energy. But it is fine. Fine! <clears throat> battle of bean, battle of bean, zoid battle. Yep, so it's like, oh boy. I guess I'll just do it that way. Draw that extra card. And, oh, yep, and that's it. Because they know that's going down. Yay. So, yeah. Glacian did it. We're giving it an A. Uh, again, I feel like there may maybe just a couple of switching cards. I don't know how you'd fit it in. I feel like it should be enough, but... Uh, I, would, I feel like it would suck just get that crow bad. I mean, every, I mean, I guess there's not much to worry about there, but... It's unique. It is fun. So, that's definitely the A status. Uh, damage. Um... It does enough for two-shotting, which is fine. Uh, defensive, the Crystal Veil, oh, definitely. It's got defense against, like, most of the best decks right now, so it should be good. Unless, of course, the weakness will be Path to the Peak and stuff like that. But that's why you run your own counter stadiums, etc. Uh, reliability, I feel like it is pretty reliable. As you can see in these two matches, uh, we were able to the Melanie right away. <laughs> anyway, all kidding aside, <laughs> anyway, uh, you got the good draw support, you got the support with the uh, Shady Dealings, everything's kind of worse, you evolve right away, you can because of the Frozen Awakening, stuff like that, it is very reliable, good enough of support, draw, I feel like it has good, uh, it just works really well with each other, every card in the deck. And I really don't have any complaints, so maybe some other way for the switching just in case. And basically, that's it. It's a great deck. Glaceon, love it. Glad to see you getting some love. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been... Professor... <laughs>